Hello everyone, let's continue making our Marimekko floral pattern audio reactive. Let's see the final effect together. If you have the need for ready-to-use project file, you can find it in the description. Otherwise, you can follow this tutorial to create a similar effect. The main difference between the project file and the videos here is I added more variations and I changed the layout option. But the basics are the same. So without further ado, let's jump in. Last video, we talked about how to make this pattern with two grid and then how to use the keyboard in to looping through different visuals. I will link the video down below so you can check out. Now let's continue. We want to add more dynamic to it and then make it all directive. To make it more dynamic, I will first add a remap. And then we want to use a UV map to remap our texture to bring out the um, some animation. To create a UV map, we need a ramp and another ramp. Change the type to vertical and a reorder. Connect our first and second to reorder. Change the uh, output green to output two and then output blue here to zero. We would also want to use the same resolution for our RAM. And then in the common page, change to 32 bit flow RGBA because we need to use it in a feedback loop. And this is our UV connected to a now NAND UV. All right, so we uh, plug it in here. You don't see anything yet because our UV uh, is not moving. So now let's bring some movement to our UV. To create movement for our UV, we will use a feedback loop. We uh, first disconnected this. Uh, I'll use a select. Select our UV here. We first add a level. Uh, we want to get a tiny bit of our um, UV. Uh, so we change the opacity to 0 0.1 and then connect to over, uh, connect to a feedback, uh, connect over, a uh, feedback to over, and then we continue at a uh, place and 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 now. Uh -huh. We want to use the noise to displace our UV. We change the period to 10 and then connect it to a slope. And in the slope here, we change the green to a vertical luminance and blue to a neutral. And that displace you strength to 4, 0 0.20, 0, and then worst point to 0. Now let's bring out some movement to our noise. We add a expression divided by 10. Uh, now let's uh, chop the reference to our feedback. And then you can see the movements of our UV. How to understand this? The feedback is uh, here, these two. The feedback connects the first screen, which is uh, our UV, and our last screen, which is the uh, UV pass the, the level and uh, with the noise displays. All right, let's continue. I would add a layer here. Make it more smooth. Also for our noise, we want to use same resolution and change the pixel format to 30 bit flow mono. And now let's uh, use our texture, uh, moving UV texture for our remap. Uh, you can see uh, the texture. Then let's adjust uh, our noise to be more suitable for our visuals. Um, I prefer something more gentle, so I will lower down the harmonious and probably the exponents and then uh, increase the filter and add the transform in the Y axis. Let's continue working on our audio part. Uh, you can bring in your audio of choice. I'm using MoMA from uh, Fortet. I think it's really suitable for our visuals uh, today. And then we need a uh, audio analysis component. Uh, connect your song to audio analysis. And then as always, we add the input and audio device out. I will pass it now. 
and then connect it to a node and connect it to a select. In this case, we're going to select the height and add to a max uh, to a node. And then we're going to copy this. And in this case, we also need our low. And all the analysis, remember to open the low and the high. All right. And then you can do adjust some adjustments based on uh, the threshold, based on your music to find the most suitable uh, threshold for you. So now the visual is changing based on uh, the key we are pressing. I want to make it uh, automatic. Uh, first, uh, instead of keyboarding, I will add a LFO, changing to a uh, pose, and then connect it to count. And then reset this. It's changing automatically now. And uh, we also need to change reference here. All right. So now, if we look at our visuals, uh, it's changing automatically. Uh, now we want to change the frequency to a range that's most suitable for your music. In this case, I'm just going to experiment um, to see. Um, 0.7 maybe. Uh, I think the 0 0.7 is the effect I want uh, to sync with my uh, audio input. All right, with this uh, setup, we also want to use some of our audio input uh, to, to drive it. In this case, I will add on top of the scale here. For example, I want to use the low uh, to drive uh, this one. I will just uh, chop it here and control C and flow it to one. So now you see our um, size have a base speed, base changing speed, but also uh, react to our music. What we've covered previously was 80% of the effect, and here I'm showing you the rest at 20%. You can check if it's useful for you. All right, so the customization I made were first I changed the uh, add to multiply, and then I add a lookup so that I can change the color of our uh, texture. And in this case, I connect it to noise and connect it to a dis displays. The dynamic comes from the high to change the amplitude. You can also um, do it in other parameters, but the idea here is I want to use the high to control the how bright um, my texture to be. So I can play the music so you can see it. Um, and then uh, one more thing is uh, for the low, I add a filter and a lag. The filter will smooth out the um, some signals um, so it looks less jiggerish the visuals and the lag i put 0 0.1 so that it adds a bit delay to our visual it looks more natural to um, to our song it's optional sometimes for fast paced songs i don't put lag at all so you add all those things based on your personal taste and the music you're working with and for the high here, I'm using the high to drive the noise. This is one thing you can do, but in this case, it doesn't generate much difference. For some cases, it can be very useful. So what I did here is I uh, connect uh, um, my high to a trigger. Uh, you can set your own threshold. And then I connect it to account, which gives me a increasing value. So I use that value to drive the uh, seed, for example. So whenever there is a high pitch, in this case, I want to capture the, uh, let's listen to it. I want to capture the da, 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 um, to whenever there is that sound, I want to capture with the trigger and changing the seed of our noise. So uh, it will have like slightly different twist. Uh, I think that's basically it. That's all. That's the end of this video. Hope you find it useful and see you next time.